The President is yet to receive the amendment bill seeking to change the number of commissioners at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Spokesperson Manoa Esipisu says Parliament is yet to forward the bill to State House for presidential assent. But while Kenyans wait to see whether the President will sign the bill into law, the debate over graft at the National Youth Service continues to dominate political circles. It silences those who doubted the government's management of this country's foreign policy. On Sunday morning, the president's spokesperson spoke to Nairobi-based journalists over the status of the country. The government's signature policy is free maternal health care. In two years, there, ha there are already some exceptional results to, to report. But Manoa Espisu could not escape the elephant in the room. The country has been awaiting the president's decision over the fate of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission's remaining top officials. Order number 11, motion. MPs last week passed the ESCC amendment bill seeking to reconstitute the commission by increasing the number of commissioners who would serve part-time. The bill sponsored by Opposition Deputy Chief Whip Chris Wamalwa was endorsed by 70 MPs with only 39 rejecting it. But the President's office said it had no more details to report on that matter. Parliament has not yet transmitted the instruments to the President for his assent. When it does, His Excellency the President will give the contents of the bill careful thought as his custom, he will apply his mind, and once he's done that, he will make uh, a, a statement as to how he wishes to proceed. But while government retains a diplomatic stance over the stalling war on graft, the government's resolve to fight corruption is unshakable, and the president has laid from the front. The opposition is taking the bull by the horns, hitting straight at the controversy in NYS that has left the devolution cabinet secretary Anwai Guru in the middle of a political storm. So for both women and the youth of Kenya, you've given 1.5 billion shillings. But in the NYS, you've put 25 billion shillings. Just yourself, what for? Nemunawana wana lalamika wana jaribu kupinga hii mambo ya NYS. Kwa sababu wamezoea kutumia vijana vibaya. But we are telling them we are organizing the youth of our country. We want to equip them with skills. We want to engage them in national service because we believe that the young people of our nation are the catalyst for our transformation. In the past week, a National Assembly Committee also failed to sail through a grilling session where Waiguru was meant to shed light into the corruption allegations at the National Youth Service. The session turned into a shouting match with Jubilee's side taking the protagonist's side and the court MPs playing the unrelenting antagonist. With the ESCC facing another storm itself, all eyes this week are on the President. Will he sign the amendment bill to send ESCC CEO Halake Wako and his deputy Michael Mubea parking? Or will he choose to maintain status quo? Ashamwilu, KTN.